Okay, Lizzie. You barely even touched a dinner. You know Mom's worried, but now Dad and I are too. Be honest. When was the last time you've eaten? You guys need to calm down. It's just dinner. I haven't been hungry. Well, you haven't been hungry for almost two weeks now. I'm just trying to make sure everything's okay. Honestly, ever since your accident and you attacked me in March, you've just been different. I'm just trying to make sure nothing's wrong. Lizzie, would you please stop that? I'm trying to talk to you. Lizzie, stop! I can't! I can't! I can't sit still. I can't stop moving. I'm not okay, Lexi. Not anymore. Seeing if you're up. Uh, yeah, I'm up. Okay. Uh, I got fresh coffee in the kitchen. Uh, if you're interested. Thanks, Uncle Mike. Ain't no problem. So, how long do you think until you be led back to your parents' house? Are you ready for me to leave? No, no. Okay, that's that's not what I meant. Uh, I just. I just. I I think. They understand what you're going through better better than I do. All right, um, they're your parents, and they're gonna know how much you miss Lizzie. I guess I'm just not ready to leave yet. Okay, that's fine too. Um, I'm just gonna be in my room. Hey, Lex, your friend, uh, Ira's here? <laughs> it is so cool to meet you. I didn't know you existed until yesterday, but the wait was killing me and I could not wait. I had to come see you. I, yeah, it's cool to see you too. So, I hear that Leo's already recruited you for some big time travel mission. Yeah, 25 years into the past to find his grandpa. Hmm. Are you ready? Well, I mean, I'm still kind of trying to mentally prepare myself, but I should be ready for anything tomorrow. How long have you been time traveling? Well, it's kind of hard to say for sure, because it's never really been a big part of my life. But, you know, time traveling into the past, it's pretty much pointless unless you don't talk to a dead person or something. Well, what about the future? Can you travel to the future? Mm-mm. Yeah. Only the past. And the farthest I've gone is a year. Oh, wow. Don't you think 25 years is kind of a stretch for you? I'll give it my best shot. Well, what about your family? Do they know about your powers? Mm-mm. My parents don't know, and neither does my Uncle Mike. Well, that's kind of how it is for us, too. Try to keep it low-key. Except for... Leo's grandfather knew about his powers before he even did. We don't know why, and we don't know how. Well, I doubt my grandparents know about mine. I mean, they lived over by AWU, on the other side of the dendrums, for as long as I can remember. I rarely ever get to see them anymore. AWU, as in Alder Waitley University? Yeah. That's my grandpa's alma mater. He's so attached to that place, even now. That is so funny. That is so funny. Blake and I were just talking about AWU. I mean, it's a good school and all, but I hadn't even applied, and neither had Blake. But we both got the same exact letter with huge scholarships in it. Really? Yeah. Don't tell me you got the same letter. No. Okay. I just, I think my sister Liz got one right before. I mean, I, mean, I just thought it was a big trap scholarship. I don't think so. 
I mean, these letters that Blake and I received were super mysterious about why they wanted us to accept the money and go to the school. I mean, I even asked all my other friends and my boyfriend, and they all said it was really weird how a prestigious school would do something like that. Another thing that's really interesting, my grandfather actually attended AWU. And Blake says that he thinks that his grandfather actually worked there 40 years ago. I'm sorry if this is too personal and feel free to ignore, but can you tell me about your sister? Well, what do you want to know about her? Well, she was one of us, right? I mean, I'm just trying to figure out how she fits into all this. Well, Liz was the only one who knew about my powers. And I was the only one who knew about hers. She could travel into the future, and I could travel into the past. Right before she died, around the time she got that letter, actually, her personality, everything changed. It was like she was sick and miserable all the time. Like, she was slowly going insane. I just, I wish I could have found out what it all meant before it was too late, you know? And I don't even know what it would be like if she was here now. And only she would know what that AWU letter was really about. I know that all of our powers are different, but I really think that we all are connected through one major thing. And I really believe that AWU is gonna lead us to that one thing. With a smile on my face, saw her picture on the shelf, face did the other way. Got up, got dressed, got fresh. Mom was for breakfast. It's already made you the best. So I wake with a stretch and a yawn, put some freaking bad dawn, called the homie for a front, cause I don't give pay till next Friday. Can you help me with this one? And when I stop by, can I stay in hit dresses? Cause today is the Leo always checks his mail at 6.40, especially when he's expecting a letter or a package. What was he expecting this time? I don't know. I think he ordered a book off of Amazon. Or maybe it's an acceptance letter from somewhere. I don't know. He's just always expecting mail. Let's walk and talk. Guys, today has been crazy, but let me tell you, I think that we're really on to something here. Yeah, all the way to the university. What about it? Well, does that school play any, I don't know, special meaning to you? Uh, actually, yeah, my family's pretty familiar with it. My grandfather graduated from AWU. Your grandfather graduated from AWU? Yeah, so? Your grandfather graduated from AWU. My grandfather actually dropped out of AWU. Lexi's grandfather also graduated from AWU, and it gets even better. Lake said that his grandfather worked there. So we did some research. Stephen Emerson was the academic dean 40 years ago. That's definitely something worth noting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's not all. Lexi pretty much says that her sister got the same huge scholarship from AW that both Ira and I got just months before she died. There's no way that's a coincidence. No, I told you we were on to something. Something is definitely up with that school. Yeah, I guess we'll find out tomorrow. 
At least we have a lead to investigate with now. Yeah. But what are you gonna do while Lexi's gone tomorrow? I guess just prepare ourselves for whatever information she brings back. Thank you.